Good morning. I'm here at the Arthur's Rock Trailhead at the very far end of the Lori State Park. This is the furthest trailhead back. Just keep driving on the gravel road until you get to it. It's a very popular one too. Few cars already here. And here's some footage I took earlier on what I plan on doing today. I'm going to park here at the base of Arthur's, go to the top, kind of come around the backside here on the Howard Trail, drop down, and then back up across the back ridge there, kind of around and up to the summit of Horsetooth, down the front, back to Lori State Park, back to the trailhead. All right, here's where we're going to take the left and head it straight on up to Arthur's Rock. The sign says 1.7 miles. And we're going to hike to an elevation of 7,000 feet. And that's a real great shot of Arthur's Rock. I'll be up there in no time. As that sun comes up, that temperature is rising. I've already stripped off two layers so far. And boy, it is toasty. At about one mile into the hike, you come up to the scenic overlook. This took me about 30 minutes exactly. Basically go over here, climb up on those rocks. All right, I'm heading on up to the true summit of Arthur's Rock. And this is not too bad. A few stairs at the end. I actually feel like it's warm enough for there to be snakes out here. It's that hot. It's sticky hot. And then right here, these are the final stairs. And then to get on the highest rock, you're just going to have to do a tiny little scramble that's not too hard. All right. I'm up here. Some of the Arthur's Rock. With no shirt. No people. No wind. No clouds. And this took maybe an hour to get up here. And that's with stopping at the scenic overlook, stopping multiple times for equipment adjustments, aka taking off layers. And I also stopped a few times to take some pictures coming up. Because this is one of the prettiest trails in Lori State Park, for sure. Way out there, that's going to be Horsetooth Rock. That's next on the agenda. It's going to be quite a little hike over. And it's just about 10.30 right now. I probably sat at the top of Arthur's Rock for about 40 minutes or so. That was just so nice. Just beautiful weather. Epic blue skies. No wind. About 20 yards or so from the bottom of the stairs, you're going to run into this trail split. And we're going to take the Howard and Timber Trail right here. And even if you aren't going to connect it over to Horsetooth Rock like I am, this is still a really beautiful way to go down from Arthur's Rock. And you can loop it on back down to the trailhead.
it right here after this bridge, which is really nice. It's going to go uphill for a second, <laughs> but it's really mild and really short. And this is why the Howard Trail is better. Take a look at these views. You get this pretty much all the way down. And then not to mention, if you turn around more to your left, you see some really great shots of Arthur's Rock itself. And this is one of the kickers with this hike, is I have a really big drop in elevation where I'm going to have to go all the way down and then cross over and head back on up the hill over here. Alright, we're finally back to the next trail junction where if you want to head back to the Arthur's Rock trailhead, you want to take the left right here. However, we want the Mill Creek Link and this hike is just really getting started. Still got a long way to go. And once again, I believe I misjudged my water. I didn't realize it was going to be so hot out here. Hot out here. Looking back onto Arthur's Rock. And I'm finally up here to the trail split. Now I want to go this way to Horsetooth Mountain Park. I'm officially entering Horsetooth Mountain open space. And you can tell you're in the Horsetooth Mountain open space because they've got these craptastic trail signs in here. These are the worst ones I've ever seen. Look at how stupid those are. And after a few minutes on that Mill Creek link, I have started going up again. And these are just a bunch of nasty switchbacks that are pretty steep. But that's fine. I like switchbacks that are steep because you know what? It gets you up there real quick. And this is quite a traverse over to Horsetooth Rock. And I'm only at about 6,400 feet right now. Which means I still got well over a thousand to get up to Horsetooth Rock. And it's still way out there. From Arthur's Rock, I look like I'm barely over halfway. And it's past 12 right now. So this is taking a lot longer than I thought. Foco loco, baby. Loco. The problem with this trail, other than it being really long, is it keeps going back down. It like goes down, then goes up, then goes down, then goes up which I don't want to be going down. Getting close to 6,800 feet and I just knocked out a big chunk of the elevation gain because this Mill Creek Trail is no joke. It's got some real steep sections. And then after coming up all those real steep sections, it starts going down again. Oh my goodness. There are so many of these parts I lost count. I'm almost done with the Mill Creek Trail and here after this hardcore left turn right up here I'm going to meet up with the road where I'm going to take the road to the west which is going to be uphill and I'm only going to take that for a few minutes and then take a quick left 
and that's going to be one of my final stretches of trail right there but it looks pretty far and if I'm not mistaken I believe there's a bench or something up here where the road connects it's just right up here and here's the road I'm finally connecting with it and I knew there was a bench up here so I'm gonna sit here for a few moments because I've been coming up this trail like gangbusters and I'm gonna head that way next I'm back on the road again and if you follow it straight up that really steep hill that's gonna take you up to the towers luckily though I don't got to go all the way up there I could just split off to the left right here and pick up the Westridge trail I can finally see Horsetooth Rock out in front of me. The sad thing is, I still got to go way down to the left in front of it, and all the way around past the far side and back up. That's going to be it right there, though. Finally, I'm up here to the Horse Tooth Rock Trail. I take this over to the right and continue on to Horse Tooth Rock. Not far now. And then right here, just at the top of that real steep rocky section, I'm going to cut off the trail and bushwhack my way over to the base of the South Tube. This is the best way up. Here, you get on that little ledge and walk it across. One more final section to get to the very top. Foco loco, baby! And there it is, guys. Some of the horse tooth rock. Yes! And look at this beautiful day. I got up here right at two o'clock, which means that from Arthur's Rock to Horsetooth Rock took me over three and a half hours. Originally, I said that that was three miles over. <laughs> More like six. Today's the day. I've been carrying this beef jerky around for 
probably two plus years. But I am out of food and I'm hungry and I still got a long way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Well, unfortunately, that beef jerky tasted like it was two to three years old. It was bone dry. Just tasted like just, just nasty, crumbly, like caramelized bacon or something, but not in a good way. Like in an old, like you dug it out of your shoe type of way. Just totally nasty. That's going to be looking down in between the teeth. I'm not going to get any closer to that. But this is a really beautiful day. It's approaching 2.30 though. And I'm about ready to start heading back. The only thing you really need to worry about when coming down is locating this rock right here because this is the ramp that you want to take down. Don't start heading down one of these little ledges until you see that rock because I guarantee it's not going to be the correct one. And just like that, I'm down. That's really not too bad at all. I bet that didn't even take 10 minutes. All right. I'm gonna head down the way I came up and then jump on the Wathen Trail and take it on down and down and down. I am excited to cruise this trail all the way down. It should be like 90% down. There's gonna be some ups here and there. There are, there are kind of some rolly hills that I got to get up and over, but most of it's going to be down, which is going to be tremendous. That bench is looking tasty. I wish I could sit on it. Goodbye bench, but I got to keep going. I got to keep this hike moving or else it's going to get dark on me out here. Okay, I'm going to take the left right here on the Wathen Trail. And in just a moment or two, we're gonna arrive at a trail junction where I'm gonna take the right, which is the Wathen Trail, and it's gonna cut right down the heart of the Horsetooth Mountain open space. And then I'm just gonna pick up some lefts and rights and lefts and rights and just try to angle my way down and over towards my car, which is parked at the Arthur's Rock Trailhead.
All right, now I'm gonna jump on the Harrington Trail and unfortunately take it uphill for a second. There's this big basin-y bowl thing kind of right in the middle of the Horsetooth Mountain open space. And once you get down in the bottom of it, you gotta hike your way up out. And in one hour, I've made it down this far, which is pretty good. Looking down onto the field, and that's where I need to be. I can see the trail down there, I can see a bunch of bikers on it. It's not too far away, it's just way below me still. And just ran out of water. I can make it though, and I've got some more water waiting in the car. And on my way down, I got out of the way of this biker, because this biker actually had bells on his bike. And then I found out it's my good friend Chris. So check him out. <laughs> nice. This dude will go down this thing on a unicycle. He will. will. Badass. I will do it. <laughs> that was awesome. That is my buddy that I have known since elementary school. It's going to be Arthur's Rock across the way. And I'm basically parked at the base of it, in front of it. But I'm in the field now. Everything's relatively flat along here. And I should be able to cruise these last few miles, no problem. And I'm re-entering Lori State Park. All right, not much further at all now. I'm back to the Arthur's Rock Trailhead. And it's not even 5.15 yet. So that took me about two hours and 45 to come down. And I did stop for at least 15 minutes, so more like two and a half. And just under nine hours for the entire day. Wow, that's a long hike. Foco loco. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, y'all, peace.